Did you ever wonder why you have so many art materials in your studio? What if can I tell you that you just need pigment? And with pigment, you, with aerobic gum, you can make watercolor. And with pigment, with egg yolk, you can make egg tempera. And pigment with linseed oil, you can make all paints. And what you need is pigment. Um, pigment with acrylic medium, you make acrylic paints. So what you truly need is mineral. Mineral is your key to make homemade art materials or art painting medium. We're going to have um, water. Um, usually it is distilled water so that you know, no fungus and any foreign object might grow from the water. But for now, I'm just going to use a uh, ball water, water that has been boiled for some time. And I add in gum aerobic. And try to mix it well. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, you need a bunch of uh, palette knife like this for mixing and things like that. I think this is pretty good. So what we have is only three ingredients. Gum arabic, honey, and glycerin. And now, let's choose a color. We're gonna choose a Nicosia green. It's a nice jade green, I would say. We'll take some color out. There's plenty of uh, pigment for us. Probably we can make two pan I think hopefully and then we're going to uh, like baking I guess make a little hole in the middle I'm going to pour some gum arabic add some honey it a little bit I think this is good, but might be too watery, I think. So let me see. You want it to be of a consistency that is pretty good. Sticky, but not too watery. And then you scoop it up and put it in a pan like this and then just let it dry for a few days let me see where should I put it here
です。Another alternate、uh, binding medium is this aquazole, and it's a synthetic resin. So you doesn't need to use gum arabic and honey because those are natural material. These are produced in a chemical factory, I guess.、Uh, but if you are、um, lazy or you want your paint to be more、uh, professional, you might like to buy this instead of using the traditional method. Uh, because a traditional method, you might get into problem like、um, moldy. You know, sometimes when you put in a different condition,、uh, it can get mold.、Uh, if you get mold, you need、um, you need to use cloth oil、uh, to make it.、Uh, I don't know, like、uh, to kill the mold. But if you use this synthetic material, it has built-in、uh, chemical that won't go bad. So basically, that's what it is. If you do not have tiny plastic pan to hold your watercolor, traditionally people fill up tiny seashell with the colors that they are using. So you can be more、um, environmental friendly, and、uh, you can pick up some seashell during your next vacation. You can put all your watercolor in a box like this, like an Altoid tin can or something square like this. And inside, you can put all the watercolors that you have made. And now you have a travel size、uh, outdoor plain air watercolor set that you can use on the go. Make sure if you do a lot of、uh, different pigment and watercolor, you have. A little swatch book that you can make yourself、uh, with some cut out watercolor paper, and then with a pu hole puncher, punch some hole so that you can remember what color that you have made. Maybe a certain formula、um, or what type of mineral that you have used to make them. So it is good to have that. The other way is to. Do a smaller swatches based on the surface of your watercolor set. So that this is, I have three set of watercolors. This is one set. This is the second set, and this is the third set. So I know exactly where I put those colors in my watercolor、um, boxes. If you wanted to make your own、uh, pigment, you have to look for minerals. Minerals are soft enough for you to rub on under stone, and you can see colors on top of it. And you can look for those in rivers and other natural places. Remember to harvest responsibly. Do not take what is、um, sacred, and making sure that you just took what is needed.、Um, so if you manage. To look for good mineral sample, you could grind them up in a mortar and pestle and make your own pigment. But if you do not have, I bought all my pigment here at Kramers, and you can order them online. And、uh, that's where you source for pigment. This is two color that I made myself, two pigment. This is from handmade malachite. Uh, a mineral, and I pound it and made the color. If you homemade your pigment, the pigment size would be larger, so it's kind of coarse. Sometimes could be sandy even. So this is part of the process because we don't have machines that can grind it to like micron, mini size. So it it will be coarse. So this is what part of the process. So this is actual pigment from malachite. And this black or grey is from coal that I found in the garden. So the place that I'm living, I think they used to have a coal burning furnace or something. So once in a while, I will find lumps of coal in the garden when I do gardening, and I I crush the coal and make into a powder, and the powder I mix with gum arabic and honey and make into a pigment. So Pigment like this、um, is less、um, is is less 
professional as you could say because you are doing it yourself so if you compare it to professionally made watercolor it might not be that smooth or flowed as well but it is something that you could explore and uh, and have fun